to Bauna's Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make yogurt using electric pressure cooker. Yogurt is the basic necessity of every kitchen, whether you want to prepare dairy or non-dairy yogurt. But today, I'm making dairy yogurt. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to prepare yogurt using uh, electric pressure cooker if you have a yogurt function in your electric pressure cooker. So let's begin. Pour the necessary amount of milk according to your recipe into the inner part of electric pressure cooker. I prefer pasteurized whole milk. Close the lid with went sealed. Select yogurt function. Use the adjust button to select the high setting. The display will show the word boil, indicating that the cooker is pasteurizing the milk. Now, if you have a yogurt function but not boil function in your electric pressure cooker, then use saute function to boil milk first and then later set for yogurt function. The pressure cooker will beep when the process is complete and will go into standby mode. Carefully open the lid and allow the milk to cool below 150 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 46 Celsius. To speed up the process, I place the milk container into the ice cold water with some ice cubes in it. When the milk reaches to right temperature, it is time to add starter. And here I have the yogurt that I saved from my last batch. Bring down the milk pot onto the kitchen towel so that there is no water at the bottom when you are ready to place the pot back into the electric pressure cooker and ready to add yogurt starter. Take a little amount of milk into the starter, mix it really well, pour into the milk and mix in one direction. Place the inner pot back into the electric pressure cooker. Cover the lid with wet sealed. Again, press the yogurt button. The display will show YOGT to indicate that the yogurt setting has been selected. You can use the cook time button to select a cooking time using plus or minus. By default, it is 8 and I usually set it up for 6 hours. When the yogurt program is complete, the pressure cooker will beep three times and go into standby mode. Open the lid to check if the yogurt is done. If not, you can allow longer time to set the yogurt. You can refrigerate or you can start serving yogurt immediately. I like my yogurt on thicker side. Thick and creamy yogurt. If your electric pressure cooker did not come with boil function, saute or cook function can be used to boil the milk. For thick yogurt, I prefer to boil milk manually. So here I have the yogurt ready. As you can see, no matter how much I tilt the pot, the yogurt doesn't move. That means it has settled nice and thick. And now you are ready to serve yogurt for your breakfast in many many other recipes. For breakfast, I usually like to make cinnamon uh, flavored liquid using cinnamon and uh, uh, honey or any kind of a liquid sweetener like a maple syrup or agave nectar, any uh, liquid sweetener that you use just mix it uh, with cinnamon and swirl in your yogurt. The same way you can use some uh, pureed berries to swirl it up in your yogurt so just enjoy however you like you can just simply top it up with uh, some fruits and uh, some nuts seeds so there are endless possibilities but for that you have to have yogurt i uh, hope you enjoyed this video making of yogurt into the electric pressure cooker if you like this video please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week and you can also visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips tricks and ideas in the kitchen thank you for watching and see you soon